all right good evening good afternoon good morning and welcome to the stream hey there dj how the heck are you change of plans today i was going to do space engineers um red informed me that the server was being worked on so it should be finished about when i was going to stream so plan b is we'll just continue from yesterday's stream basic I want to check audio, make sure it's working. Actually, I want to look at voice meter. So it seems like 
And I have to nail this down. It seems like when I play Space Engineers, there is a key combination that for some reason is disassociating my microphone on voice, mini voice meter potato for some reason. I think, I think that's what it is. We're gonna find out. So speaking of voice meter, let's make sure voice works. Audio works, nice. Nice, I'm yelling at nothing. All right, let's uh, switch over here and um, get this going. Oh. Well, I tried a little something new for breakfast, okay? It wasn't an exact, it wasn't a gourmet breakfast or anything like that. And maybe I did it wrong, I'm gonna try it again. But supposedly it's a big deal to take Eggos, you know, the frozen waffles you put in your toaster. Hey, good morning, monster, how you doing? I, I like the gift box you have in front of your name again. Thank you so much for your generosity yesterday. Appreciate that very much. So you're supposed to take thawed out Eggo waffles. It's something that's in America. I don't know about the rest of the world. And you basically treat it like a piece of bread, like you're going to do French toast. And I don't think I cooked mine quite long enough because I, I put three into a pan instead of just two. So I think I crowded it. I'll try it again. I got more Eggos. All right. Um, so to reduce some of the boredom, I went out and did a lot of mining. Um, I almost ran out of battery because I, I forgot to turn on the beacon too. So I was out mining. Let me load this. I was collecting, you know, stuff I was thinking on iron and coal and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, um, I forgot to charge, I forgot to swap batteries. So I ended up swapping between tool batteries and I barely got it back. It was, uh, so I went and got some ore and stuff. Um, right. So I don't have a big fear of not having um, welding fuel for my welder. And we had a pipe burst out here. Oh, dude, all right. Let's, uh, let's put you down there. So um, this should all be steel, right? Or, oh, these are iron frames. Oh, I did steel over there. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to uh, we're going to make a command decision here. We're going to take care of we're going to get all, rid of all this iron and replace it with steel. So, uh, do I have stuff in here? Uh, what's in there? That won't work. Hang on, how do I? Oh, I oh there we go. Uh, Atmo analyzer. All right. Still didn't do it. <laughs> I think the gift icons look better than the bit icons, uh, but the gift icon disappears if you don't give subs every... Yeah, I don't make up the rules. So we have not a whole lot of gas in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vent this stuff. And then we're gonna make some more steel. Yes, we are. So let's get prepped for making more steel because I should have I got fuel, that's good. Uh, um, so since we're gonna move this around a little bit, no, no, I'm not gonna move, I, I need to vent it. So hang on, I gotta wrap my head around what I wanna do. So I gotta, I gotta bring some power out here. I'm all over the place, there should be an active vent somewhere. We're gonna hook up an active vent, we're gonna, oh, I forgot to turn that off when I was out mining. That would have been bad. Hey, look, they put the paint cans in differently. I never knew they did that. That's cool. I am looking for an active vent. That's correct. I'm looking for an, an active. There we are. We got an active vent. All right. So do I got everything turned? I'm going to turn off like a couple lights here. There we go. That's off, that's off. The only thing that's on are the stackers. Anything else sucking power? That's off. Battery chargers are charging batteries. 
All right, we're going to have to do something about power too. All right, so. Uh, so in order to do this, we got to mount this act event somewhere. And I'm just going to plop this right there. And then we're going to uh, get a sheet. And I I'm going to make lockers today too. Probably driving some of you guys bonkers. So this is a, just a temporary hack. Oh, you know what? Before I completely use up all this gas that's in this thing, let me try this one and make sure it works. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, there it is. I blend it in. Ooh, it works. Yay. Cool. All right. So let's put that back. I got very excited. I did something that worked. There we go. So we're going to put a frame and just, uh, we're doing that for a reason. And, and I'm going to explain here real quick that I want to mount. I could have mounted the act event down here. That's, that's very, that's very true. I could have done that, but that means more pipe. And all I want to do is do something quick and dirty here. So I'm going to take this act event. We're going to put it over here. And then if I run one pipe to it, then it's going to stay. And it won't fall. So I'm going to have to start using insulated pipes until I figure out the whole condensation evaporation thing. So rid of that. Rid of that. All right. Swap that. Oh, that's wrong tool. All right, let's uh leave that there. Oh, I got cable on me. Hey, look at that. I am prepared. Barely. So we want to make sure that these are both red. There should be a power connection. There it is. This is going to be a good timing because the sun's going down. We can use the furnace. Oh. All right. So then we uh, turn it on and everything in there. Oh, it's not connected. Uh, all right. My bad. That's the output. There it goes. I had it wrong way. All right, now that the sun is down, let's um, chuck those over there. Go here. Let's get out seven of these again. Seven of these. Dude. Oh, it's a tool slot. My bad. How are we doing here? All right. And then we're going to make some more steel. Uh, to do that, let's see here. So empty out. 
that 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 did I put more ingredients over here I did all right sweet so we're gonna do that 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 Uh, it's three iron and one coal, three to one. We're making steel. All right, that should be good enough. So we're going to turn this off. Then we're going to hover. And we're going to put, oh, uh. And our fuel. And we're going to go Power low. I know, I know, I'm working on it. I wonder if would there be enough heat to do two batches? What do you guys think? If I fly over here real quick, and we do the same thing. We get one. My wife left me because of my obsession with Lincoln Park. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, my wife left me with my obsession with... I don't get the joke. Lincoln Park. All right, call me an idiot. Somebody explain that to me. Oh, oh, okay. All right, that's why. Yeah, I'm not very savvy when it comes to music. Sorry, sorry about that. Hey, look at that. We got two batches of steel out of that. That worked out pretty nice. Oh, wow, that's still warm. Let's um, let's deposit this. And because iron takes so, or not iron, but gold takes so long to smelt. Whoa, look at the pressure. What is the uh, maximum pressure of the furnace? Station cheat. Oh, almost fell. All right, hang on. So we go to atmospherics. Uh, we're looking for furnace 60 megapascals. Oh, all right. Well, turn it. let's um, go ahead and smelt some silicone. Did iron, let's go ahead and, I'm sorry, we did some uh, gold, let's do some copper and some iron take advantage of oh it's cooling off look at that kind of well it is actually all right we'll do iron first if it gets below 900 kelvin i don't think it'll melt anything yeah i think uh i think we're, we're done Let's go ahead and just uh, turn this on, vent that. All right, cool. Well, you know, it is what it is, right? So let's go ahead and... Uh... <sighs> I was innocent on the song. It doesn't even matter. All right, so today's goal is we're gonna work on power and gases, I think. Because playing this game, you become this squirrel, right? You, you get distracted by certain things. You go, oh yeah, I gotta do this. So 
Um, I've got some steel. So what I want to do is, um, where do I find the other battery charger? I had baked beans last night. I, 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 I got to take it easy on that stuff. Chargers, a battery charger. What's that require? All right, let's make one of these. Did it, did it make one? Okay. Oh, let's drop that. All right, so we have a little tiny battery charger there. Um, let's put this one here. And hang on. There we go. Uh, grab some cable. Grab some tools. There we go. Hey, what's it take to make a belt? Uh, oh, geez. Light. There we go. Belt. <laughs> so I have to upgrade this to get the better belt. All right. Fine. Let's swap out our battery here. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I had a lot of baked beans last night. Now, as a robot, I don't have a suit on. Looks like I'm a rioter. Um If I put an EVA suit on, that's got slots in it, right? No, I'm thinking of the backpack. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. All right. So, um, I want to get some more batteries. So, what do we need? Uh, I can get four more. Perfect. Perfect. So as soon as this vents, close. Oh, I guess I can only get two batteries. Okay, fine. So what are we missing? Copper. Oh, I got. <gasps> I don't have any copper. All right. Smelting copper then. Hey, Snore, what's up? Let's fire up the generator here. I oh, gotta go get some coal. So I did a lot of mining off uh, screen last night. And like I said, I almost ran out of power because I forgot to swap my battery when I went out. So I started swapping all the batteries with my tools. Um, Snore, uh, on Sunday I play with uh, one of my friends, Ben, and we, we have a kind of a we, we got a base that started, I'm going to say almost a year ago. So what I decided today was to start, since there's been a lot of changes since we started that one and we had to basically re-engineer stuff, I wanted to start something fresh and learn what the new changes are from the beginning versus having something in place and making changes to it. So hope that helps. Hey, Jerry, what's up? All right, sun's coming out, so let's turn off the generator. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So, let's see. This get all vented? That is pretty much all vented. So, let's turn this off. 
and we're going to um we're going to get rid of all of this iron and we're going to replace it with steel because we just made a whole bunch of steel so while i'm doing this let's have something happening let's make stuff happen. oh I, I need the tool so where's the steel at so there's a big chunk of steel we just made So let me uh, put this away. Let me grab two of these, put them in there, and we're gonna make some frames. That's not a word. There we go, make some steel frames. All right, so let's get busy here. Oh, geez, I fell. Because in the world of stationers, you need gases to do all sorts of different things. And different gases have different properties. I don't know what those properties are. It's very confusing to me. <clears throat> when I first started playing the gas, I, I didn't know what all the... I've heard of CO2, of course, you know. But when you use it in a practical environment, I guess, or with game mechanics, well, it, it gets uh, a little overwhelming, I'll be honest with you. So I got beyond the uh, overwhelmness a couple times. Um, and then of course they start applying like as near real, real world physics as possible, I guess is the best way to say it. So I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna learn some stuff together if you guys don't mind. It may not make sense. Someone will have to explain stuff to me very slowly. Okay, we don't need those and oh and don't need that all right so we are going to that's magic wow 10 frames that's slow oh so my fear yesterday was power which i kind of have a little band-aid in place and um so what i want to do is i want to put my furnaces over here so we're gonna build out a little bit here as far as i can go with that uh, i'm not overly concerned with power because i do have the generator we have the panels that gives us a little bit of charge so that's not so bad what i want to do is i want to move the furnace over here with the arc furnaces i want to start capturing the gases and start storing them and filtering them. Then I'm gonna do something very basic to try to even out the temperatures by using a, hang on, exchange. That's not how you spell exchange in this game. There we go. So they have different exchanges too. Small direct counter flow. This is the only one I've ever used. Direct heat exchangers equalize the temperature with two inputs. So, okay. And then what does the other one do then? So there's a heat exchanger. It has four connections allowing you to pass two gas networks into the unit, which then works to equalize the temperature across across two separate networks. So four inputs. So is that two inputs and two outputs? Or is there four inputs and one output? Past, so two inputs and then two outputs, okay. So what's, what's up with the direct then? Oh, only two. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so what does a counter flow do? Exchange heat from one pipe network to another, then drawing down the pressure. Oh, 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 okay. All right. I'll just have to go with old school. All right. So anyways, we're going to, uh, 
create ourselves a platform here. I, I'm known for un, very uncreative, unbeautified bases. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move the furnace. Um, I guess we could leave the furnace there and put. Now I'm going to move the furnace down here. We'll put the furnace like right there. We have room for plumbing and stuff. We'll put the arc furnaces there and then we'll take all the plumbing out towards the filtering out there. I don't want to go that way because I already got stuff over there. I got my ore over there and it doesn't make sense to go that way. So yeah, whatever. All right. But uh, we, we got our basic solar panel set up. There's nothing automated with it. We have two panels that face where the sun comes up, two when it goes overhead, and two when it sets down. So we get an equal amount. Um, I think um, with steel, solar panel. Oh, they kept the old flat one. Oh, maybe that's the thing. So is that the one we use now? The dual? I think it is. Um, oh, that says heavy. Is that the one that doesn't require any? Oh, geez. All right, that's the wrong one. Wrong one. Solar panel heavy. Solar. Okay, I'm so confused. Solar panel. Dual. I don't know. That looks right. So steel, copper, gold. Here one. All right, cool. So we're, we'll finish, put a whole bunch of steel, we'll weld a bunch of steel, give us some working room. All right, let's see here. So that should be far enough to go that way. So now let's think about, let's do five, uh-oh. Is it gonna pop out? There it is, okay. So, and then over here is where we'll start storing the gases. So if we do some cooling, then we come into the, okay, so the start this way. I, I forgot, I lost count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then let's bring this out. Um, ooh, silicone, cool. Let's see here, let's say we got, how many tanks do we got? We've got CO2, oxygen, hydrogen, which is your volatiles. You got your pollutants or your X, nitrogen and nitrous oxide. Am I missing a gas? I'm not worried about water, so. Oxygen, CO2, X or pollutants, hydrogen or volatiles, nitrogen and nitrous oxide. So six basic gases, is that right? I know, I'm all skin and bones. Hey, BMAC, how the heck are you doing, man? Oh, I got a big battery in there, one. Yeah. <laughs> doing okay? Can I do um, gases? Oh, if I do filters, all right. There we go, so we got, I don't want a water filter. So we have volatiles, 
pollutants, oxygen, nitrous oxide, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, so six. Yay, I was right. So let's go over 10 that way. Well, I'm gonna try. All right, let's do this. And we'll do this and do that, do that. Switch that to flatten. That way, if we come across anything, we've got our mining belt out because there's some silicone here. When I play games like Satisfactory and Factorio, and I tried to build within a very tight area, like low real estate, I always, always, always run into problems. So I have learned to spread my wings out, you know? That's why I'm overbuilding what I need because you never know what I'm going to do wrong. And instead of breaking everything down, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to be able to uh, have plenty of room. Oh, not me, because Factorio, maybe I'm a little bit better at, maybe. But, uh, you know, keep in mind, two years ago, I, I learned that you could do direct feed from, like, one machine to another. Zeph, how you doing, by the way? All right, so... I was going to do, we have six tanks. I'm going to add four just for some room. And so we want 10. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're going to, uh, Have a platform of death here. Not really. I I don't know. So this is gonna be our gas area. Gross. This will be a, another extended work area. This will be where our furnaces are. Oh, I ran out of steel. All right, well. Didn't get very far, did I? Oh. So today I was gonna play Space Engineers on the same server that we would play on Fridays. I just wanted to test my neck, my connectivity, get some, you know, get used to, because there's always a little bit of lag when you play on a server versus like a local game. But uh, the server was being upgraded and worked on. So Red told me, um, it would be ready right around 7.30, but he said, I recommend you go to plan B. I said, not a problem. So tomorrow we'll do it. 
We'll do the testing and all that kind of stuff. And then Friday is when we start with uh, you guys joining in. I got a backup beverage right here. So yesterday offline, I went and got a bunch of stuff because that's boring to watch someone do some mining. It really is. No, I can drink when I'm walking forward, see? Oh, I have a backup beverage. Gotcha. No, I have a... Oh, well, I want to do more copper, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Copper. And I needed copper for something. What, what did I need that for? What was I trying to make over here? Oh, more big batteries. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go do some more work. Thanks, B Mac. It's from um, it's Stream Beats from Harris Heller. He uh, he's done a whole bunch of th that's how he really did his shtick. You know, he started doing music and made it free for everyone, made it copyright free. I don't know how he makes money, but it's, he's got it on Spotify. Every imaginable place you can get it and listen to it for free. Nice enough guy. Okay, let's turn this off, save some power. So we're gonna get the platform laid out. Then we're gonna get two arc furnaces. So we're gonna move the furnace over here, put the arc furnaces there. We're gonna put them into a room. I've done this before, it works out really well. You put it into a room and you have shoots that feed into the arc furnaces so when you um when you smelt you have a a sensor in there and it will detect up to a certain kilopascal turn on act god excuse me turn on act events and then take those gases to your filtering area so i want to try to get that accomplished today I'm just wondering if I could automate solar panels, but I'm just wondering if I need to do that yet because we're going to have a heavier draw on power. So I don't think the basic solar panels are going to cut it. <laughs> yeah. We had, um, we did bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwiches. I tell you what, ever since I started making my sandwiches, on sourdough, I have such a better experience, except for peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly on sourdough, not very yummy. Maybe I'm just a, you know, a kid at heart. Um, but um, BLT on sourdough was really yummy. I have ham and cheese on sourdough, 
really yummy. I'm just saying, it's really yummy. But we did um, BLTs, mac and cheese, and uh, baked beans. Kind of a very basic, and uh, for some reason, I love the baked beans. But man, I tell you what, people around me don't love me that much. Just saying. Oh, we're out of steel again. Uh. All right. Huge investment right now. Here comes the sun. All right, we can do this while we're waiting. Flatten our pathway here. So Electro posted out in Discord where he's got the gas generator working in a single space using water as a uh, coolant versus atmosphere and nitrogen like Ben and I are trying to do. And uh, of course, it's still work in progress. I don't know that much about, you know, liquids and pressure and, you know, I just, I'm a gamer. Oh. I switched to sourdough bread ages ago because gut not getting bloated after. Gotcha. It helps that my brother-in-law has an artisan bakery. Oh, that's so cool. Alex's brother on the weekends when he's not doing the military, uh, he works at a, a uh, chicken farm or he gets eggs. And it's weird because the eggs aren't shiny and white but they're not clean so you got to clean the eggs and sometimes there's double yolks in them so i don't know what actual places do all the egg sorting and stuff but man they got quite a process they got to go through i guess i don't know they're, they're fine eggs Almost done. Then we gotta fill it all in. That was my jetpack. All right, it's fine. Oh geez, I'm fine. Now this should be filled with nitrogen, right? It is, not much, but it is. We have 30 liters of water. All right. Now I used all insulated pipes here, so I don't have to worry about anything getting cold because of vacuum and, and bursting or anything like that. Uh, did we run out of, uh, oh, we did. All right, here we go. All right, let's switch to sheets now.
So I would say I'm about halfway through. I'm, I'm going back and watching the original Planet of the Apes movies with the first one, of course. And I'm about halfway done with it. He's a... Uh, The, the Beast, a.k.a. Taylor, a.k.a. Charlton Heston, is on trial <laughs> to be destroyed. That's where I'm at right about now. That makes it look like I, I made some real progress, you know? <sighs> um, all right, so I want to finish this. I was just thinking, I want to go out and find some more ice. I want to get it crushed so I have more nitrogen for my jetpack and more water to make more fuel. Hey, hey, Baron, what's up? Baron, I'm sorry to ask, are you still streaming? Okay. All right. Well, you, you make sure you let me know. So, uh, well, it doesn't matter, I guess, but guys do me a favor, uh, do a bookmark on Baron here, would you? I would appreciate it. I missed one. I uh, almost fell in. Wow. Good thing I, I have some more. Oh, yeah, stomach bugs are the worst. They are. I did a lower back thing, just getting up wrong, standing up wrong. Oh, great. Now they're sending family to space. I guess I'll have to FaceTime Robbie now he's on the moon. <laughs> hey, Red, how you doing? Oh, excuse me. Um, guys, there's another streamer right there. Do me a favor, give Red Munchkin Gaming. So Friday, this coming Friday, and every Friday after that, uh, Red Munchkin Gaming and I will be playing Space Engineers, and we're inviting our communities. And there's some rules. I did a post out in Discord, so go check it out. Uh, are there plates or something you can put over that are always open like that? Uh, you could do, um, uh, 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 floor, floor something or others. Hang on. Grading. There's floor grading that you can put over. Yeah, I know there's rules. So, um, yeah, you can do that. But you can't see through it, though. Not very well.
there's and you can also do uh you can do walls so instead of putting a wall here you could put a wall down there too there you go every friday after that space in your stream for there you go well i i think red and i have got like a, a short term goal but since we're only going to be playing it one day a week well you're going to start on earth in a in a respawn pod and then whatever happens from there is up to you join join our what do they call it a guild join our fact faction join our faction and the ultimate goal is basically leave earth get to the moon build a capital ship get to mars and duke it out on the way and conquer mars now i've been told you can't really conquer mars so i think what it is is you fly around uh destroy all the outposts and bases and uh then you're done right well i tell you right now in my single player game, I guess I have a capital ship that's kind of frigate light cruiser based. And going up against a ship my size with artillery and the uh, assault cannons, I do some pretty good damage. I switch the AI targeting to offensive instead of just letting it shoot at whatever. That way I take out their weapons before they put too many holes in my ship. That works out pretty good, except for the little tiny ships. I'm going to say this, and I do apologize. They suck. They're so hard to hit. So... I don't have any missiles. Just have artillery, assault turrets, oh, and Gatlin turrets. All right, so the, the the lights are out. I want to go get some water, not to drink, you know. All right, so let's put this away. Boink. And let's turn this off. And I want to turn. All right, we're just gonna go find some ice. I need to put this here. Switch that to there. Let's go over here and drop that, that, that. Oh, Frankie, almost left without. I, I, I almost did this again. All right, let's swap this battery. Actually, I should be mining during the day. That's what I get for kicking stuff. So uh, we're going to continue down this path. Then we'll go mine during the day. So change of plans again. You know, this is what I should do, really. I'm getting tired of... No way I don't have to walk over a hump to get to my pod, my landing thing. There we go. Much better. That's right. Uh, so we were making um, steel sheets. We'd run out of steel. Yeah. But I bet we're going to run out of gas, aren't we? So let's go ahead and swap this out. And let's turn this on. Turn that on. It's going to suck a lot of power. doing single single welds because that's all i need out here 
All right, so while we're waiting on that, let's do this one more time. And this time we're going to set this default. And we're going to do some vacuuming here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, there's some gold. Okay. And that looks a little neat and tidy. Sure. Uh -huh. All right. What do we pick up? Got some, uh, oh, two batches of silicone. All right. How are we doing over here? I'm good. Ooh. Uh, it doesn't put a whole lot out, not a whole lot of output. All right, good to know. Holy snake, we're about to lose power. Fire up the generator. That electrolyzer is a big power hog. All right, that one's ready, so we can turn that off. Turn that off. There's no way of telling how many chunks of coal it's on. I guess you have to pull that off the data. Oh, well. All right. Do, 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 do.
We're getting close. Getting my steps in today. Uh, that looks so weird. Unnatural. fell have broken my robot legs oh that'll suck I pardon my French if they add fall damage to this game oh no thank you right, we're almost done so I should be able to while I'm sitting here waiting for stuff over there oh jeez that again Latin. Got some sort of monument here. I'll I'll uh mold this to uh perfect. That's what Electro was saying. If you wear your suit in the base, you'll lose a mood. Why? Because you're getting cabin fever? I don't get it. Do they not want people to play their game? Huh. Oh, I need more. So if you wear your suit in a base, you'll lose mood. Do you have to go through like laundry service? Is it a hygiene thing? I don't get it. Some sort of psychological downfall of being in a spacesuit. It looks like I got them all. And organ slots. Well, I know they've had a medical bay, a medical bed asset for the longest time. Longest time. All right. Well. All right. So now, it's during the day. Let's go get some water. So let's leave this out. Change this to 
We're on regular. Regular. Unleaded. Put that there. Swap that there. Let's go search. Click the beacon on. Uh, let's uh, open up our tablet. Put the tracker in. Make sure that works. Yeah, there it is. All right, that works. And let's go uh, find some ice. Or hey, there's some ice right here. Didn't have to go far. But we're gonna leave this ice. Let's find some more distant ice, just in case. Oh. Uh, hey, there's some. When you come home from MS, did you relax in your suit? And tie? No. I didn't. I wore shorts. <laughs> we got there. Lead? All right, let's get some lead. I got to make some solder, I think. Yeah, I, I, that's true. I worked three years at Microsoft. Then I worked uh, ten, almost 10 years at Intel. All right. I really like both jobs. I really like both the people too, in both groups. New assets needed, PJs and teddy bear slippers. Oh man, floppy ear bunny slippers. All right, so here, oh, I got a question. Can I put ice in my jetpack suit here? Will it melt? All right. Good to know. Oh, that's copper. I didn't want to get copper. I thought that was lead. I drink lattes. No, fra frappuccinos. Sorry, frappuccinos. So let's go ahead and deposit this little tiny lead. I just want to make sure I don't run out of water to make my fuel once I get a... Uh, what's it take to get an arc welder? Oh... Oh, okay. All right. Invar is always the hard one. On average, 20% of the time, I end up blowing up furnace. Wow, this is a nice little find for, uh, oh, uh, okay. So let's drag that there, drag that there. There we go. So I found an interesting little hack. So I'm assuming most people have some sort of an air fryer or something close like a, whoa. Oh, okay. Like a toaster oven or something like that. Now I'm a fan of pizza, all right? You look at me, you go pizza. Um, oh, fell in a hole. And, uh, you know, in the United States, we have these uh, ready-made shells called Boboli, and they're really pretty good. I mean, we use a basic ragu sauce and and sausage and mozzarella cheese. It's not a bad pizza. It's it's like eight bucks, nine bucks, and takes 14 minutes to make, and that's about it. So it's really not bad. Um, although locally, Papa John's for like nine bucks, I can get a large uh, sausage pizza. It's pretty good too. Anyway, I found that if I took a flour tortilla, warmed it up, and what I mean by that is I just put it in the microwave for like uh, maybe 15 seconds and I throw a moist paper cloth uh, towel on top of like three shells, nuke that for 15 seconds, pull it out, and you take a tablespoon of pizza sauce and you put it on the lower, lower third. And then you put some pepperoni or sausage, whatever meat you wanna put, even chicken. You can put barbecue sauce if you want, mozzarella cheese, roll it up like a burrito, right? 
seam side down inside the air fryer, put a little oil on top, a little olive oil, and uh, I don't know, four or five minutes in the air fryer, you got yourself a pizza roll. I did those yesterday, it was yummy. Am I gonna do it today? I am. I don't see any more ice. So, yeah. That's silicone. I don't need silicone. I don't need oxide. Silicone, copper, nit nitrace, nice, or whatever it's called. More copper, volatiles. Ah, more ice. that one there put that one there all right so uh okay we got one more slot for ice oh that's a bummer all right let's go back home i saw home where did i see home at There's home. See it. <sighs> so when the sun goes down, we'll melt the ice because you don't want to take it out and put it in the ice crusher because you lose a little bit of your ice. Just a little bit, but you know. It takes forever to crush ice now too because you get, they say they're, they're heating up to crush the ice. That's a fine. We got a fully charged battery. Oh, that's because I ran the generator and ran all the coal out. Is that what I did? Sure did. All right, let's go get a chunk of coal in there so I don't panic and go, where's the coal? All right. Um, turn that on. I know I said don't do this during the day. All right, so arc furnaces. Let's make a new arc furnace. Why am I making one if I already got one? Well, I want to have two. I need iron and copper. Iron. Copper. <clears throat> so my idea is to put... My, I have to expand a little bit more. I want to put an arc furnace here and here. I wonder if I can put them side by side. I wonder if that'd be too tight. And I want to put them inside of a room with chutes and some logic. So when, when ore goes into the slot, into the um, import slot, whatever it is, it activates the arc furnace, starts smelting, and then when it goes to the export it op it allows another one into the import slot so i need a little bit bigger area i think i think so so did we make another arc furnace but before we go down that route let's do some more frames see how long that takes now do is um 
this, you could put that there, that there, and drag those down here. Swap that. Hey, Mr. Beckett, what you doing? Uh, we're in the wireless, uh, where in the wireless baddies uh, for you to run around? Wait, we're, where is the wild? Uh, I haven't got that far yet. We're doing the basics instead of trying to add too many creature comforts, you know? Yeah, I enjoy that um, very much so when I play with Ben, not having to worry about charging batteries or uh, whatnot. Yeah, so now we can do that. So it doesn't show how many total liters. I, I, you still have to do this. Oh, that's the wrong one. I thought I swapped it. There you go. 44.8 liters and it can hold 6,000 liters. I got you. All right. One Omni and wireless battery easy. Oh yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Can I do a large wireless? I could. You're right. Oh, I ran out of steel. I got to make some more steel. We'll make some more steel. Oh, let's do that right now. This is empty, right? That's empty. So if we do this and put that away, open that up, let's grab that. Oh, geez. Okay. Sun's not out, so we can place that. Okay, let's go down and get our resources. So we need one of those. Power critical. Oh geez. All right, hang on. Oh, hey, dude. Got power problems. Don't need to be flying around. Oh. Right, okay, so, um... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, uh, we actually were able to do uh, a couple chunks of this. Just solo. This is my solo playthrough as a robot. Uh, all the other playthroughs that I've done, they've done, they've made changes to the game. So I had to take what I originally had and remodify it. So I'm kind of going from uh, all the changes have been made, so I don't have to re-engineer everything. Hopefully, and plus, I didn't really completely understand the phase change. Come on, go down, down. Thank you. Sunday is multiplayer, that's with Ben. Yeah, he, he took physics in, in school. I didn't take any physics. So all the really hard and complicated stuff he's doing. I just do all the heavy lifting and come up with the impossible tasks. There we go. All right, then let's go ahead and invent that. I hate to waste all that, but yeah. All right, we got some more steel again.
Yeah, so we want to type in Omni. You know, I'm going to hold off on this because things are going to move around and I'm going to have to keep moving these things. So I'm just going to go with running back and recharging the batteries for, for right now. Dude, it's 9 a.m. All right, you're an hour and a half early. Pookie's here for a snack or something. I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's make another arc furnace. Which I could have swore we already did. No. Oh, that's right. We were expanding. All right, so I need to go this way a little bit more. Do, 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 do. You know what? Um, yeah, that'll be fine. Good morning. A mental health day is need from work. So I'm taking one. There you go. You tell him who's boss. How you doing, editor? All right. Looks like. Hopefully that'll give me enough room. Oh, I'm missing one right here. Go. Oh. oh, yeah, that's fine. Let's dig that one up so I don't confuse myself because that happens quite often. All right. Oh, I've, I've had those mornings. So let's go ahead and uh, put it there. Make some more sheets. Sheets. Up. <laughs> oh, never mind. Carry on. Oh. The thing about it is, the more stuff we hook up and start using, the more that thing goes down. So I think I'm going to set up the arc furnaces, the dual arc furnaces. And before I start doing all this testing, that's going to do all this power. I think I want to set up maybe a five solar panel array with some logic. And since I don't have access to IC, I have to go find, I think the old four chip still works. You just have to face them a different direction. I think we'll get into it. We'll see what you guys say. Unless there's a dual axis chip version versus IC version. Probably is. All right. Um, sweet. Turn that off. 
All right, let's make another arc furnace here. Editor, I'm sorry you're feeling blah. Nobody likes feeling blah. We've got rain all the way up until Sunday, I think, here. Checking my weather. All right, there's an arc furnace. So I want to give it a little bit of room so I can walk around. So if we do this, put a wall here to here, space, another arc furnace. Okay, let's grab this arc furnace. I don't think I need all that space. I can sneak through that, so that, that'll work. All right, so for right now, um, power. Uh, let's get this making some cables. And I have a few cables. Right now, we'll just do this. Actually, it's, oh geez. Just short, short. All right, now we have access to arc furnaces again. Yay. Uh, okay, let's stop doing that. Save some power. Um, so the furnace gets moved down here. So how do we break that down? I'm assuming with this. Yes. No, what, what's, oh geez. Then we need a crowbar. Ooh, don't use a crowbar enough in this game. I'm working on it. And then, all right. Then we're going to put furnace, I think. Right there. So all the gases that are going to come from these guys, we're going to send over here to be filtered. Um, that's the idea anyways. Now, let's shift gears and figure out some power. 
So let's make five of the um, panels. So if I put solar panel, that one. Copper. All right, I got copper. <gasps> oh, I don't have copper. All right, I have to go smelt some copper. And now we could actually do it in twofers. So we send the gases over into this area. I wonder if I should do a cooling staging area before it gets filtered. Cooled, released, gets filtered using all insulated. That would be really easy to do. Um, and then we can do a second floor, uh, a level and do the, uh, I like putting the heat exchangers down below. All right, so let's um, figure out what we're gonna do here. Go. All right, so here's our little solar setup. Um, so let's um, put these here. Okay, let's not put them there, let's put them there. Grab this. This is set to flatten. That's set to flatten. All right. So, even though those are basic solar panels, they still work. So what I want to do is give them like five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Then on the sixth, we'll go a row of five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Uh, I have to do this because we got some uh, what is this uh, nickel Good morning, Saturn. How the heck are you doing? All right, what else we're gonna need? We're gonna need some gold. And we need a little bit more steel. Alex is doing good. They got a long day today. Oh yeah. She's got a performing arts class after, not Alex, but Alex Jr. So Alex is gonna pick up Alex Jr. from school and she's got a performing arts class. So they won't be home until about nine. So I'm here alone with Pookie. <sighs> but it's raining all day. So I get to finish my Planet of the Apes movie, start the next one and uh, you know, relax. It's unfortunate because I would love to go to the lumber yard and get some lumber today. 
because the temperature is supposed to be, um, hang on. Oh, I, I launched the wrong app. It's supposed to be 66 degrees today, 71 tomorrow, 72 on Friday, but it's raining all those days. So that we're making panels, right? So I don't want to go pick up lumber when it's raining. Yeah, I'm going to make some, uh, I'm going to make some, uh, some, uh, pizza roll-ups. Not, not the ones that are frozen. Uh-uh. No. What am I making over here? Steel sheets. Oh, I think we're done. Well, I was uh, saying earlier, if you take a flour tortilla, you know, whatever you, whatever brand you use, warm them up a little bit, you know, like 10 seconds in the microwave, put yourself a tablespoon of pizza sauce in the lower third, but whatever kind of meat you want, pepperoni, barbecue, chicken, whatever, make sure it's cooked. Um, and then mozzarella cheese, roll it up like a burrito and then put the seam down in your air fryer. If you have an air fryer and you squirt a little uh, olive oil on the top and Four or five minutes in the air fryer. You got yourself a homemade pizza roll. Oh, I don't get it. All right, so that's not doing anything. Let's get that going there. How many we're up to? We're up to two. All right, so I need to do, uh, let's see here, station ears. Uh, dual axis solar tracking. So if we go here, I can't do it with IC logic. So this is so two chip single axis. All right. I've done that before. So can you do, um, well, maybe I'll just do single axis unless they put a dual. Oh, here we go. Six chip dual axis. So you got to make sure and crank the panels door where they face the sunrise. Okay. Wait, is that for? It's integrated circuits. No, so this is normal chip. So four IO, a processor, memory, and a sensor. Let's go with the most basic one for right now. This is the most basic, even works reasonably well on Mars. Place a daylight sensor on a vertical surface, AKA a wall facing the sunrise or sunset. Doesn't matter which with the data port facing north or south. All right. Okay, I got it. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. All right, so we're gonna gotta get four solar, five solar panels here. So next week, I'm gonna to try to do a little DIY out in the garage. I'm gonna to attempt to do some French cleats. The thing is, I don't have a truck to pick up the plywood. So what I'm gonna do is take some saw horses and uh, an eight foot section of one by material and use that as my straight edge, measure over halfway, cut these sections in half and I can fit that in the back of my, my escape and then bring them over here and start cutting down some uh, five inch sections. And then I'm going to cut those at two and a half inches, I believe, or two and three, probably two and a half. Power critical. Oh, geez. Two and a half on 45. So I get my cleats.
then I'm going to attempt to um, make a tool rack for my cordless tools. One more. And put the cleat on the back so it will lock into the cleat. I'm going to record. I'm going to do my best to record all this. I know some people uh, like watching it. Some people like listening to it. Some people don't care. All good. All right. So there's our five solar panels. So let's go over here. And... Um, Let's get this all prepared. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about welding those. Let me read this one more time here. So we're just gonna do this real basic. So they've got this pointing north, which is, so if we look at my compass, north would be zero, right? That's north. So our sensor port has got to face that way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to dig out a section here. Okay, let's do it on default. Now switch it to flatten. There we go. So now, get a little, little walkway down there. All right. So reading this again, it says, most basic tracking, you know, the mood ever working with. Well, okay, so when you, I'm not worried. Place the daylight sensor on a vertical surface facing sunrise or sunny, doesn't matter, with the data port facing north or south. Okay. I'm going to face it north just like this does. Uh, let's go get some. Oh, so what do they say about the panels, though? Doesn't matter. and crank the panels to face sunrise. All right. So let's set that up. So. Oops. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh. 
Torch was lit. Sunrise is that way. Now, I'm going to use a, an APC out here to keep the circuitry alive. Um, so this needs to come from the battery. So if that battery goes dead, this will kick in. So let me think about that. So our battery is right there. The output, that battery right there. So, um, let's see. We'll do, a, we'll do a heavy line off that. Come over here to an APC that sits right here. Always upside down. Oh, that's up. Oh, sorry. That's better. That should be input, right? It's up. All right, cool. Logic reader and a batch writer. So I want to do Oh, they change the icon. Just need two logic IOs and some uh, sensor.
All right, so if we follow the example, let's put these guys first. So we're going to have our logic reader here. It's going to be a batch writer. And the sensor, like that. Now, I'm going to take this. You got what I can see there. Put that back. Go get a battery. Power low. Swap our battery. Swap our. Get a battery. Swap our battery. So let's do that. Another battery. Um, I got some cable. And some more cable. Um. This. And, um, look at that. We're about to run out of power. Lincoln. Sun's out. What's eating up all the juice? We left that on. All right. So, um,. So this cable will go between the logic side now, is that going to get in the way no it's not so if we do this that 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 Connect this one too, just to test. Okay, then we come down here. Logic on this side too. Oh, dang it. And then the power right now between those put a battery in there and we turn oh, uh, hang on. So the logic is all set up, right? It's connect to a couple panels, logic, 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 good. And we have to grab this thing. And on the logic reader, we say this, oh geez. Um, does it have to have power to do? Oh, okay, we have to say daylight sensor. And then we say vertical. And on the batch rider, we say solar panel. And we say vertical. And we say A. A. Oh, logic reader. And they're tracking. Wrong way, though. I did something wrong. So both are vertical. That's vertical. That's vertical. Solar panel. Oh, wait. That's right. Solar panel. Daylight sensor. But they're not tracking. So that means... That has to face north. Which it is. That means I put... 
These are facing the wrong way. Yeah, single axis juice, man. Mm. All right, so. In the path. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. All right. So instead of facing, um, yeah, that, it's just backwards. What if I swap the sensor though? That'd be an easier fix. This is where I learn. So this needs to say solar sen daylight sensor and then vertical. And that ain't doing nothing. Use a wrench. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. All right. So let's put this back the way it. Oh, that's that's okay. So let's turn these off. And um, I don't truly understand why it has to face north. I was just trying to see if it was just a, a simple, um, like directional thing, I guess. Then we do. What am I looking for? that hey look at that hey juice in there 20 months thanks juice i appreciate that i really do all right so let's reprogram these this needs to say uh daylight sensor again again and then vertical and then this again says, oops, sorry. Right, so that's solar panel. Press F1, look up sensor. It has a way it needs to face. Oh, all right, so, gotcha. Um, solar panel, vertical, and A, which would be the logic reader. that on so now if we we uh, do the wrench and right now oh did I, that was weird oh did I adjust my thrust and not know it Rest up. Wait. I turned off my stabilizer somehow. I don't know how I did that. All right, so right now these things are facing. Uh, hang on.
Alrighty, now let's get some power to, uh, let's get the, I can always swap that battery, but let's get some heavy cables out here. So I can run the heavy cable just, and then connect it to that, but I need a heavy cable. Oh, geez, we're gonna run out of juice here. Okay. So we need copper and gold. Let's get some more copper. Hey, Grim, how the heck are you doing? All right, so I gotta be able to do this a little bit better. So I need to bring a heavy cable. I don't need a heavy cable to go to there. need a light cable to go to there i just have to keep that battery charged you're doing good nice all right stayed up late last night building an ice barge Woo! The space engineers that's not so that's so cool um all right let's do this and a huge ice lake to mine so it would produce hydrogen to power my first ship off the planet that sounds like a plan. I come out. Man. Dude, let's go straight. cable Thank you. 
There we go. I still can't, um, I try to put, yeah, that's going to be in the way. Oh, I just put that underground. Well, th that was not intelligent. Actually, that's kind of cool. Dig a wire trench. Sweet. So that, 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 there we go. All right. So with the sun coming out, let's tie in the, uh, that'll last for a little bit. Needs to be in an improved conduit. That I believe. Uh, yeah, you're right. Believe it or not, I actually know that because when Alex and I were adding a bathroom, we didn't add on. We took a pre-existing room that was considered a bedroom, but because it was kind of long and I want to say useless, actually. Um, we decided to take that room, split it in half, and uh, make it a bathroom. So when we were doing that, there was all these code requirements, and I said, no, it's not going underground. It's, uh, hope I have helped you in a good way. I'm going to go sleep. All right, Penn, have a good one. Oh, I enjoy stationers a lot. All right, so the sun's coming out, yay. Get some more heavy cables, yay. And we stopped making them, why? Ran out of... Oh, we had a oh, we had a power flicker. No. Ah, oh, fine. So right now, the power being generated by the new panels isn't going anywhere. Is the generator still on? It's not. Okay. Thought of thought oh we interrupted the power that's why we, that's why well the light cables are going to be just, just be on the logic side i just recently got my low voltage electrical admin license i spent a few weeks studying for the test and man was that's some dry material. Well, my challenge was a wrapping my head around what had to be done. I mean, it's easy to say, I want to switch here. I want to light there. I want to socket there. That sounds pretty darn forward, but the switch has to operate the light and how code is since it was a bathroom that has to be a GFCI. So the power has to come to it first, unless you have a GFCI breaker, which was a lot more expensive. So it went breaker box over to the outlet, outlet over to the switch, switch to the light. So, yeah. And uh, I went very non-traditional. Instead of using uh, uh, wire nuts, I used Wagos. When the inspector came out, he didn't say anything bad about it. He said, oh, okay, yeah, looks good. The only thing I didn't do, and didn't flag me on it, he didn't fail me. He said, you need to put, because we went through uh, the plate, the ceiling plate, obviously. You do, it's so fun. It's so interesting to find people that actually use Wagos or levers or whatever you want to call them. 
So that one should be, yeah, producing power. Sweet. Um, I I didn't I, I didn't know that since we drilled through the plate. That we had to squirt some fire retardant uh, cock up there, caulking. And uh, he says, just run out to Ace, get some, squirt it up there, send me a picture, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pass. I went, okay. Fire stop, yeah. Now let's go over here real quick. Let's grab another battery. Come here, dude. Dude. Yeah, I, I was unaware of that. And I'll be honest with you, it, it, the only thing that was really, really challenging with that was, and I also had a fan to hook up, was that the uh, the sub panel was in a finished wall. And I got extremely lucky that there was a new knockout and there was the hole that was drilled in the plate was big enough for another Romex to come down. So, Alex got up in the ceiling and we, instead of using your standard fish, I have a 10 foot chain that she dropped down. And then uh, from that chain, she attached the Romex and I could pull it down. I had a little magnet to pull the chain through. So that worked so well. For one Romex, that worked just fine. Multiple Romex, I think would have been a problem. All right, let's turn that off. Swap out this battery. Go over here and finish this. And then uh, instead of using a standard steel wire clamp, I used a hard plastic grommet. And that was the hardest thing to get up in there the correct way, yeah. There is this device out there that it connects to your phone and let you basically see through. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, that's very expensive though. All right, so now we have a lot of solar coming into our battery. So that should charge very nicely. Look at that. Wow. I think it's time to get another battery. Well, um, and the other electrical I did was um, I took a pre-existing 20 amp breaker that was in the main breaker that was used to be used for our pump house. Get two, they're small. I've already got, well, I guess. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the new wall we, we uh, covered we we put three new outlets out there all gfci so let's put this back up that it's one oh no two oh you got a hot tub Ooh, that requires some juice you yeah, all well, doing the wall was really fun and I used um it was called easy guard so in instead of doing a nail plate so you can't even do anything into that stupid stud I used easy guard uh code requires emergency disconnect within six feet oh you had to deal with that I didn't have to deal with that hi Pookie um so I used easy guards which is a um, metal surrounded piece of plastic that you put inside the stud where you would normally run your wire that way you don't have to do a nail spiky thing whatever nail guard but I only had 10 of them and I miscounted the studs and down at the bottom oh it was really nice down at the bottom hey Lob what's up uh, how far into the save this is part 2 so uh, what are we on? Um, um, six hours, maybe seven. I got one battery. I need steel. Oh. That's our last chunk of steel. So can I mount this? Oh, I can. All right. So we're going to 
Move things around here a little bit. Um, yeah. So, uh, real quick, on the wall, there's a window. I covered up the window. I, it's actually all the all the images and stuff are out in Discord under DIY. The problem I ran into is I, I didn't consider that when you frame a wall, so you got normal studs, and then you have framing for the window. So that added two more, they call them cripple studs or junior studs or something like that. So I actually had not one or not two, but six pieces of two by four I had to drill through. So I didn't have enough easy guards for that. I said, okay, fine, I'll use nail guards for those. But when I was drilling the holes, I ran into nails so many times that I was getting so mad. All right, so uh, let's run power out to the circuitry so we don't run out. All right, Graham, have a good one. Cable, 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 and cable. Oh. So we're, we um, we created a, a nice work area for doing some gas filtering. We haven't gotten into it. Um, it took a lot of, we made a lot of steel. And um, so we have our, our basic furnace area. That's gonna be where the filtering happens and maybe something else. But um, I figured I wanna get a little bit better reliable power generation. So versus the basic, we put up some single axis solar panels. Uh oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's fine. Put it out. And um, so the logic has got an APC as a backup to run the power. So I want to make sure I'm a newbie to this game, but feel like I've hit a wall with my progression where things have started to get advanced very quickly. Um, what planet are you on? Uh, I'm all skin and bones. Because your starting planet does have a little bit of a, um, Plays a little factor in it, in my humble opinion. All right, then we want to come out of here. Oh, I ran out of cable. Jeez. Oh, look at that. I didn't drill the hole right. I'm on Mars, so I've got a reliable power and semi-automated atmospheric base. I have to manually top off with ice and filters. Uh, the bit I'm struggling with is really, is the mass storage automated crafting. Uh oh, wow, okay. And automating my furnace. That's, uh, I haven't gotten down that route yet. Um, so when you say automated furnace, you have basically like a knob or a switch to say, you want to do steel and uh, it, it pumps the right amount of gases and then we'll make your steel for you. Very ambitious. I need From what I found online, it relies on... <laughs> um, if you, if you look... If you search the workshop for Jeep Guy, Jeep Guy did something on Mars and automates it using molds. Um, and uh, I used his stuff on the moon. He actually hopped into my game. He had to do adjustments because of vacuum versus non-vacuum. So it should still be relevant. Oh, no problem. 
Yeah, the automation when it comes to manufacturing stuff and ore, I'm kind of, I would rather automate power. Um, and I like the challenge that if you're on moon, Mars, whatever, instead of just spamming solar panels, um, which eventually you can use too, too many because then you have to put uh, transformers in place because of how much power they can generate. Um, ben and I have taken on the challenge of trying to get gas generators to run on demand, um, which doesn't sound too hard. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't sound very hard, but because they have a certain atmosphere and um, um, cooling requirement, that's where the challenge has been. We're getting close though. Ben is uh, rigged up, they say rigged, um, a staging cooling system so that it uh, will maintain a certain amount of cooling. And then we also used, uh, first we tried using pressure regulators. That didn't work. So we used some logic with uh, turbo pumps to maintain a certain amount of pressure in our cooling pipes. So now, this is going to get charged, keeping this on, right? So that should be going up. Uh, I'm not seeing anything because, okay, 100%, nice. So, the output of this APC feel, feels that APC. This APC gets charged by that. What we're going to do is we're going to move this stuff down. We're going to add a few more batteries. So, see here, we don't need glass. And we're gonna do this all, all in iron since it's already in iron. All right, so let's uh, grab the coal. That right there. And let's see, if we're gonna add two more batteries, one battery. Where's the other one at? But appear I didn't make it. Need steel. Hey, I got steel right there. Yeah, at the uh, on Sunday when we play this multiplayer game, we have the top side is the factory, the tool, right? That's where the um the ore is dug up where it's where it's where it's um smelted gases goes to our gas system gets filtered um we check for temperature of cooling we're trying to balance that with heat exchange with exchange exchange service heat exchanges um we and since we're human we do have a greenhouse <laughs> and um the thing about it is we're using more power than we can generate when it comes to solar. And at night we're using up more. So what we're trying to do instead of, like I said, just having a large battery bank with tons of solar panels, we, we distribute the power between top side and below to where if during the day we're generating enough power and there's a, a difference between downstairs and upstairs, we start transferring power. Now, of course, at night, there's no power being generated topside. So if our difference gets within that 10%, bottom side will start sending power topside. Oh, there is, there's a lot, Duke. You're, you're absolutely right. Now, I'm, I'm not saying there's, oh wait, there's any one way to automate any sort of manufacturing or, or anything like that. Um, there's a cat at my feet. I keep stepping on him. Sorry, Pookie. So today we didn't do a whole lot of real basic stuff except for we made some steel. We're prepping for um, smelting and collecting the gases. But today was really all about making sure we had some uh, dependable power generation. All right, so we got our two batteries. 
And we're gonna grab um, iron frames. So one more just in case. Oh, too much. Here we go. Shave a little off the top here. There we go. Nice. Neat. And automating stuff, I get scared with automating a great deal of it, especially when they keep changing some of the fundamentals of the game. So, so I want to put this all the way down here, not that. That. Power low. Yeah, I know. Then we need some um, those and this. Oh, I did a double weld, didn't mean to. All right, turn that off. Swap that to that. Um. Make some more heavy cables. So I've got a single axis um, logic going, which is pretty darn simple. I remember the first one I used was four chips, single axis, but then they changed something and that didn't work anymore. You didn't have to do so much math, I guess. I, I don't know. Math. All right, so let's see here. How do I want to do this? Um, I quit flying off the handle though. All right, Jenry's output needs to, um, I guess we can go that way with it, right? Because the input, well, before I put that in place, let's just go clean up some cables here. That's the input. So the batteries need to be basically facing the same direction. Oh, I forgot we gotta build them. And I tell you what, ever since they added UX as whatever the heck that's supposed to be, I have more problems trying to hang on to my gear. Uh, what do I gotta do? Screwdriver. Oh, all right. There you go. Then, um, let's turn these on. And let's grab some heavy cable. And do that. Now those will charge. What I think I want to do here is if I come out and go up. Go 
Wait a minute, where are you guys getting juice from? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Then we'll just um, connect across the board like this. Then with the generator, uh, re leaving room for more batteries, I guess, but put that there. And let's go get some more cable. One cable short. It's always the thing. <sighs> I don't have any copper smelted. So, all, if I want to add more, we could add five more going that way, give it some space and add another row. Eventually we'll do that. But once again, uh, panels and generator feed into the batteries. The batteries come out and go to a battery backup, an APC. And uh, you can overload this APC, so we're going to have to get a transformer um, for the platform, for the tool platform. This, ha this draws so much power, we had to come straight from the batteries. But again, we could feed a separate small transformer to it, but it doesn't make any sense. Right now, all this smelting, all these gases we're uh, kind of losing out on. And by the way, I missed the fabricator and the conveyor belts that they had in the game. Very cold. Look at my temperature. Like, oops, sorry. Right there. Watch this. It's it's nil. And if I go over here, hang on. More, 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 because I'm next to the furnace. But it was getting now it gets negative. So weird. Some sort of a, a temperature vacuum or something. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and put that in there, that in there.
Power critical. Mm. Cognition low. I know, I know. I fixed it. There you go. Conveyors were cool, but you could use logic to replicate the fabricators. That's true. That's right. You could take some logic and turn these into a fabricator. You're right. And I guess with the shoot system, you don't really need the fabricators. So. But it was just kind of cool to see stuff on belt, you know? All right, there. All right, sweet. All right. So, uh, um, let's, let's maintain our, our power thing here. So if we have, this is on APC here. Um, I need to, um, all right, so this can go away. Let me, let me try to unconfuse myself what I'm trying to do here. circle lunched brain cell activation was it effective what what uh what do i want to do here i want to work on these i want to work on automating these All right, it's time to get some lockers. I mean, like the Pokemon attack. <laughs> never. I hate to say it. Even though I had a comic book store and I sold Pokemon, I never understood Pokemon. Probably because I'm too old to understand it. All right, so these are slots. We can read these with a slot reader, I think. I think I'm just going to refer to... And I had this working using a uh, chip before. I don't have IC code, so we're gonna have to do some logic. What I wanna do is detect something in the import slot, activate the arc furnace, and then when it goes to the export, repeat steps. That's what I wanna do. Um, so we need to, first of all, I need to figure out power. I wanna do, from my daughter Pokemon in the Japanese artwork. I don't understand. So, Gamer Circle, so you launched a brain cell activation. Oh, i sorry. So you did like a Pokemon thing for me to help me out. It worked. Um, all right. So, right, right. Hang on, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Um, I want to use a transformer here so I don't keep adding stuff and blowing wires. This is going to stay like this because eventually I go to arc welder so I can get rid of this. Now nighttime's coming, I got more ice I need to melt. So that means is what I want to do is bring a heavy line
Oh, so cool, Saturn. I want to bring a heavy line. Over to here and put a transformer for what I'm going to do here. I need to figure out how to route that before I start doing any logic. Uh, I have created myself quite the mess here. That heavy line comes off of, uh, right, that comes right off of that. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to reroute this cable. I want to bring it over here instead. And from here, The IO chip has a slot reader. I remember that. So let's go this way. cables so basically i'm going to sever this line we're going to put a transformer here or here i don't know where do, I have, do you get this transformer no you don't get a transformer do you so i have to make one. Oh, look at that portable stuff that oh lockers we got lockers we have oh they gave you an ice crusher oh I made one and a sensor kit all right. I got turned around. All right. Um, I got a scratch. What is that? Is that nick? No, that is iron, nickel, steel. Copper and copper. Lead. Silicone and gold. All right, 
Heavy cable. Actually, I want the transformer first. Iron, gold, and copper. Hey, iron. Gold. All right. So before we fire that off, go down here. I don't want that. I don't want that. Oh, for crying out loud, Andy. There we go. I'll get it eventually. Let's make a transformer. And this is going to go right here. So we're going to bring the heavy cable. From this direction over there transformers Power low. no not that kind not that kind Getting into some power distribution. Oh, geez. Before I create a big, ugly spaghetti mess, too late. Um, I'm uh, going to get a. Oh, that won't work. Good. All right, hang on. Change of plans. Hang on. This will work. I got to wait till that finishes, though. So we're just going to bring this in, across and then down. No, bring that across. That's going to be in the way, though. All right, we'll bring the light this way. There we go. I don't want to interrupt the smelting. So we're going to put a transformer here. So we have a break in the network uh, fed by its own heavy line. And that way that gives us a heavy line to bleed, uh, to buy off of for down there. Does this tell you how many chunks it's working on? Oh, look at that. All right. Uh, so I could probably Almost done. 
Heavy all the way around. Actually, that can stay. Golden standard, just go with the more expensive heavy stuff. All right. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Dang it. Put you away. Um, oh, I need more heavy cable. GC I found in a robot body can put a wireless battery in my power slot and use a wireless power supply to stop me from having to switch. Yep, somebody uh, convinced me to do that. I didn't know if I was going to be rearranging a lot here, but I was going to rearrange here. So I didn't want to set up too many transmitters and have to do it, but I will do one here. Let me get this transformer hooked up here and there. And then I need to smelt some iron. So let me get some iron going here. So just let you know, I was, I was trying to keep things kind of on the basic level, but um, since we're doing power stuff, might make sense, you know? I, th I think it's from where it's at, it's 10 frames. So on the 11th frame, you don't get it anymore. So you'd have to put another one, 10 frames. So you get the overlap. I think that's what it is. Think may, I may be wrong. How did you get the lights to stand on wires? Oh, I put walls. Then, then connected stuff, and I took the walls down. But like, you put a wall, and then another wall, put your fixture, put a wire, then you take the walls down. That is what we call a Wally, -E, not to be confused with the Disney character. All right. That didn't quite place. I just call it a hack. Uh, 
electric wall. All right, so let's stop doing that. Grab those, grab those. Put that there. Turn this on. And uh, smelt the iron. There we go. All right, so. Let's do a wireless. Do a couple of those. No, just one big one for me and little ones for my tools. Let's put this over here for actually let's leave it right there. Then we want to do something that's called Omni. There it is. We're going to make two of these. Make sure our platform is, is duly covered. Looks like we're still using too much power to keep our batteries topped off. I'm going to add five more panels. We only make one. What are we missing? Uh, copper. Yeah, I got copper. So we'll put one right there. Now if we turn this on. Oh, oops, wrong side. <laughs> now let's see if the battery over here is, it is, it's getting a charge. So from where that's at, one, two, three, four, five. All right, that covers that. So if we move it over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think it's 10 frames. Yeah, make it 20. Oh, good gravy, that's all I want. Ah, made too many. So, um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's put another one right there. And then for right now, we'll do just a sloppy wiring job. Now this is what everyone's talking about. So if I swap out this battery, this battery, Power low. you notice it's at 15% and not changing, going down. So we got to go here. Still not going up. That's interesting. Oh, there it is. All right. So. So I think one, two, three, four, five. Five is the limit. If we cross over to this one, which is six frames over. Our battery is at 16%. It goes down. So one, two, three, four, five. Where's that? One, two, three, four. So you can go five or six in either direction. So where this one is, if I go to here, do I get my battery charged or not? I do. So that one will be connected five each, right? So then that way we can do this temporarily. On. I don't want to loop it into that because I'm going to be doing some logic and I don't want this wire to be, I'm going to move this eventually.
So right now I'm all the way out here. 19%. And it's going down. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's the first time I've done a robot. All right, so now, <clears throat> are we close enough to that thing? I think so. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. For 16, 17, going up. Yay. What kind of logic am I planning? Well, uh, I wanted to get to do some gases. That's what I talked about doing yesterday. I, I want to stop wasting the gas, but my power demands kind of over overtook my basic panel. So we added a single axis five panel logic and added some capacity. I think what I want to do is add five more panels. That way we can keep the batteries topped off. Um, the first logic I'm going to work on are reading the slots in here so we can automatically activate our arc furnaces. And then I want to put, I want to output, um, I want to output this somewhere. So let's get, um, let's get some more, uh, frame set up. So I'm, I'm doing some very basic stuff. I don't know how to do MIPS or assembly. That there. It's there. Sun's going down, right? So I keep forgetting I have ice. I need to melt. All right. The bad thing is like, once you get one of your stationary batteries up and running, you think, oh, I've got so much power but you start leaving things on and you start draining them like crazy so let's um let's put this away we need five frames there's one 11 11 frames then let's grab oh, we got 38 of those that'll work so we don't need that or that first world problems yes 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 So let's um, continue this with um, five more frames. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's go ahead and weld them. Oh, geez. All right. What I'm going to do, swap to a battery, let this thing charge up since I'm out and about quite a bit. There we go. Uh, the trick is to have a second wireless battery on you so you can swap, I, I reckon. I don't have enough slots.
Well, let's see here. While I'm waiting, I can get cable, as much cable I have ran. And then we are going to um, gonna cheat a little bit here. Oh, I had one more. I'm gonna snip that so we get the wire. Put it back. resource problem one Jeez. All right, so we can do regular cable over here Toys, lurk mode. <laughs> uh, iron. I should um, smell some more iron. Uh, we're not going to have enough copper. Did I not smelt copper? Oh, that was, wow. Okay, that was enough copper. We definitely last the night with the batteries, but during the day, we're not getting blue. We're not topping them off. That's what I'd kind of like to achieve here.
so while we're here And then 270, right? No, that looked wrong. Now, if I take this. Oh, boy. It's taken a while, but I have some good news. The OS has updated four times to the required level, and it's all now working. So feel free to test later. For now, right, I will. need a lay down, a chocolate digestive, and a noose cupper. <laughs> well, that's top notch. Oh, we need heavy cable. I'm gonna have some pizza. Okay, still need glass. Oh, we gotta... Wait a minute. I gotta fix... I gotta get this one all dialed in. There we go. Right. This cup is more... Us all right, let's uh, drop that off. And um, I want to get heavy cables. I know we're missing a panel. That's why we ran out of copper. Oh, man, oh, man. Coming up a little, a little short on time here. What I mean by that is I wanted to get these other five panels all hooked up and connected before the sun came out, but I'm, I'm a tad late. This should be enough, I think. Oops. Oh, may not be enough. Oh, just enough. Now we can stop making cables, make the last panel. Cookies like this <laughs> underneath my desk. He's out.
Yes, yes. When they did the orbital changes. Yep. Yep. He's got one paw. He's like this. And the paw is reaching towards me like, dude. Scott. Oh, wait. That, that should be one, right? Oh, uh, you know, actually, let me do this real quick. Snip the logic. Oh, he woke up. Do that. And, oh, we need a wrench. Oh, I, I'm just doing 10 for right now. I thought, I thought, you know, five would have been enough, but it didn't seem to be enough. I want to try to top off my batteries. All right, I get put all my tools in the wrong spot. There it goes. All right. So all the power's hooked up. Yep, 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 yep. And they're all tracking, so all the logic is hooked up. Yep, yep, yep. And um, so we were running up until today, we were just running off of six basic solar panels, which was fine until I um, put such a demand on them, they, I couldn't keep my one stationary battery charged up. There is never enough. Yes, that's the correct answer. So now we have, um, we have backup in case that fails. I, I'm, I'm really into redundancy. Now from here, we send a, a low voltage to an APC. So if we run out of power, we can keep the logic going on the solar. Then for here, what I'm gonna do is I think I think this platform is going to be fine just running off the APC. Then I ran a heavy line over here with our own transformer. And um, I think what we're going to start, so it won't be tomorrow and it won't be Friday. Probably Monday, I'll be back with some more stationers on single player. Um, I want to get some uh, logic chips and I want to start automating smelting with these guys. And once I get that, I'm going to wrap them in a room and vent the gas but before i can do that i have to set up a cooling array and store it i guess i could just store it in insulated pipe oh that's gonna be a lot of pipe so what i want to use is like half of this section i want to use and i've done this before i was very happy with the performance i'll have a cooling array basically a bunch of pipes with um with radiators and I'll cool them to a certain level, like 30 degrees Celsius is my happy zone. Once this, once the array hits 30, then I open up a, uh, a digital valve on the filter side. And when, uh, when the pipe analyzer on that side detects pressure, it turns on the filters and will draw the chilled gas out and start filtering it. So I think that's what we're gonna do uh, on Monday is set up. We'll get this automated and then figure out our cooling array because we're going to have to use it for storage for a while. And then in the cooling array, we have to hook up a condensation evaporation system. So if things get too cold, we won't get, you know, problem. And that, that's where I start learning. So the only thing we did with gases was waste it in the environment, which was unfortunate. Look at that, blue batteries, woohoo! All right, all right guys, let's roll some credits here. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Hope you guys learned something, hope you had some fun. Juice Man, thank you for the resub. Appreciate it, that was uh, 20 months by the way. All right guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow with some space engineers. Have a good one.